Hi, I'm Liam Withnow and I'm here with Darren Walsh and we're going to have a quick chat about some of Darren Walsh's finest fringe moments. Hello Darren, how are you? Hello Liam, yeah, I'm alright, thanks. Great. Uh, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10, good stuff. <laughs> At this halfway point, you're at an 8. Do you that's expect that to rise? Well, I expect it? it to go down with tiredness, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, I think that's about accurate. Um, so I've got a few questions for you here. Uh, this, this, your funniest, do you, I mean, you've done a fringe a number of times. Yeah, this is my fourth hour and probably my seventh fringe. Like that. Right, okay. And do you have like a, a pivotal favourite, funniest fringe moment? Oh, I couldn't, it, it's, it's difficult to pick one. I'll, I'll just go with the last one that happened mm. uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, it's always awkward when someone that you went to school with or someone you worked in an office with comes to your show, do you know okay, what I mean? Yeah. And they go, oh, uh, you know, and after just like, you know, it's just mm. really awkward. This guy said, oh, um, I was a teacher at your school. And I said, oh, well, what's your name? I didn't recognise him. And it turned out he wasn't teaching when I was there. <laughs> that's the point. Why does he want to share that with you? I don't know. That's creepy. <laughs> How did he know I went to that school? Did, you don't mention it on stage? No. No. So I was a teacher at your school when you weren't there. That's weird. You've got it's a stalker. Odd, isn't it? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Okay. So your funniest fringe experience is being stalked. Um, good. <laughs> um, your fringe show this year. What's it called? Uh, it's called Panamal Farm. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, it's it, well, it's a lot of puns as, as you can probably tell. Yeah. Uh, it's loosely based on George Orwell's Animal Farm. Uh, the house is very loose. Yeah. Very okay. loose. Yeah. Is, it, is it a metaphor for Stalinist Russia? Yes, at the end I asked for donations and I told the audience that um, they should all put in the same amount because that's what communism is about. Very good. So, Okay, so if nothing else, it's, uh, it's you commit to the uh, to the brand, that's nice. Indeed, yeah. um, and when you had your idea, Panama Farm, like how has it, has it changed much from inception to like where it is now? Completely, yeah, it's changing all the time. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was just saying to uh, Stephen that uh, he's changed about 10% of his show, and I think I've changed about 30% of mine, something like that. Really, and is yeah. that just like, is it stuff you don't like or is it just stuff that doesn't work? Stuff that doesn't work, stuff I think of like on the bus on the way home. Uh, I just, uh, I just so you're... on my laptop, because there's a lot of animations in my show, so mm -hmm. I'll just think of an idea and then, it's animations. Um, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, there's lots of What's the, stuff. how does that feed into the... Season? Yeah, I, I mean, I'll, 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 I'll just say, I'll just play the animation then, and then I'll tell the punchline, you know, some, something like that. Oh, a catchphrase. It is a bit like catchphrase. <laughs> it is because sometimes the audience shouts out the punchline, uh, <laughs> and then it really is like catchphrase. So, that's good, that's what you want. That's the, you know... It, kind of. It, <laughs> I mean, I'd like to be the next presenter of Catchphrase, but I don't know if that'll happen. Is it still, is that had a reboot? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I know it had one reboot. You mean you're gonna do your Catchphrase research before coming onto this interview? Well, I probably should have. I'm professional. Um, <laughs> so how, so you've been, seven Fringe, how, how long have you been in comedy? Um, nine years, I think. And how did you start nine years ago? Um, I did a, I did a workshop and then I did some open mic uh, gigs. Mm -hmm. I only meant to do it for a month just to see if I could do it. And then, um, yeah, a month turned into it, six months, and then here we are. The people teaching that workshop, were they actual good comedians? Or were yes. They? Okay. Yes. Right. Yes, because there's a lot out there. There's a lot of dodgy ones. There Sometimes are. you see people advertising themselves as comedy teachers, and I'm like, but well, yeah. I've seen you do comedy, and you can't do it. <laughs> I, I often think that one day they might do a panorama on that. Can That's you imagine a, that? Yeah. Oh, that'd be so entertaining. Oh my right? God, the bottom would fall out of that industry overnight. <laughs> yes. And yeah. it's big, do you know what? I think it's a good idea. You should yeah. do it for next year's fringe show. Watchdog, all that's yeah, mm. yeah. Um, and what's happening next in the world of, of Darren Walsh? Um, I'm working towards filming a, a a special and putting that on online. You mm -hmm. know, either on um, Amazon or something like that. Yes. Yeah. You know, just get something that's edited really, really perfectly and it's filmed professionally, and then then and then pitch that to you know Netflix or and also. Direct communication with your fans. That's great. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. Like that's your I I um I film all my gigs and I do all the you film all your gigs. I film all my gigs and um, oh my god. I mean, it's it's more of a sort of learning experience. Like, I've had you watch them all back. No, no. Do you watch any of them back? Yeah, the funny ones. <laughs> do you sit at home and with like but a I mean, laugh? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> this looks good. The the but I mean the idea is that I'll have. Um, I'll I'll have learned enough about video production to create my own. Uh, I see. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, many strings to your bow. 
Yeah. I record every preview and then I never listen to any of it. <laughs> no. I see. hear as much as, hello, I'm, and I go, God, I can't do this now, turn it off. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of unlistened to bootlegs of my previews out there. Which yeah, it is painful listening to yourself, isn't it? Mm, horrible. Uh, especially when you sound like I do. Anyway, Where are um, you from? I'm from Dagenham. Okay. Um, East of London. Have you ever been there? Um, Unlikely. I've been to Romford. That's a different place. Okay. <laughs> it is close. Yeah. Um, uh, and finally, um, so how do you how do you create your comedy? How do you how do you come up with your puns? And uh, well, I don't. If I sit down and uh, stare into a laptop, nothing comes out. I generally uh, get ideas as I'm out travelling, and I make well most of my comedy is done in Adobe After Effects. To be honest with you, uh, that which is an animation. Uh, package, right? Uh, yeah, so I mean the animation side of it, that's all created on my laptop, mm. and then the ideas they just pop in my head. You know, so you'll just stuff. you'll just see you'll just see something and think, I know a different word wording for that, or and then you write it down. That's that's how puns are done, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what you do, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it'd be in conversation. Uh, someone will say something, and I'll, I'll you know I'll come up with the punchline first. Right. Then I, I've just got reams and reams of punchlines and no setups uh, in my really? notes. And then I go, I dip, dip in back to them and come up with all the. Uh, That's so interesting. Because it's like we're just very different, do you know what I mean? Just very. We, we, we create really different them. things. So we like. We watch different TV channels. You know. <laughs> this has been established in yeah. an earlier interview. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah, okay. Thank you, Darren. Um, where's your show? Uh, it's on at 6 30 pm at the Three Sisters, and it's free. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much.